So today in Robocraft Garage we'll be looking at this helicopter showcase. People have been asking what happens if you start combining hovers with aerofoils. So as you can see here, the external of this helicopter has the aerofoils and rudders, whilst inside it has the hovers. Thrusters will provide the forward speed required for in air flight and this frontal system allows the control of climbing and diving. So as you can see with most hovers, hovers will keep you grounded on the level of the ground on most areas. But because of your wings, you bypass a lot of these obstacles that a hover encounters because you glide over them regardless of the altitude that you are at. With the wings and the rudders, it allows you to roll your vehicle left and right, so it changes how hovers would work. Because of the use of your wings and rudders, it allows you to glide in the sky. But also, keep in mind that hovers will keep to their maximum height, which is grounded, so flight will not be at its optimum, but because you're using a hybrid system, this is something to be expected. As you can see, I'm able to climb up quite high, not as steep as most planes would, but still enough to reach the ceiling height with no problem whatsoever. Due to the design of this plane, this plane has been designed so that it climbs steeply, but in terms of diving, it's less required because the dive system allows you more maneuver than just using the downward thrust, as you can see now. So, in terms of using a hybrid system, the great thing about it is for medics who like to fly. Because the hovers allow you to keep you above ground, they can easily heal targets on the ground here. So, great for flying medics, especially if you don't want to be a walker. Of course, like, you can, can use plasmas and such, but that's totally dependent on what kind of craft you would like to build. I have seen SMG helicopters before and they do function quite nicely so that's really up to you but just keep in mind when you are using hovers and aerofoils they will clash with each other in terms of the altitude they will work at so yes if you're ever keen and need more help on building hybrids just drop me a line and I'll see what I can do